Nebraska's prison scandal is impacting the governor's race. One candidate's plan got the backing of some prominent police groups. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski has a story in our Red, White and Blue 2014 report. Jake? Jen Democrat Chuck Hassebrook says if elected, he'd do what Governor Heineman can actually do right now, which is take away good time from inmates who do bad things in prison. It's going to be something I address on my first day to start revamping state guidelines for good time. Backed by about a dozen local officers and the Nebraska Fraternal Order of Police, Chuck Hassebrook said it's not the actual good time law that needs to change. It's how the state administers it. Last week, former Department of Corrections Director Bob Houston acknowledged they didn't fully use their authority to take away good time. Plus, corrections officials disregarded a Supreme Court ruling that calculated wrong release dates for hundreds of inmates. The blatant disregard for public safety is deeply troubling. When I take office in January, the buck will stop at my desk to ensure that sentencing statutes are fully and faithfully implemented. Hassebrook says building a new prison is not off the table to alleviate overcrowding. But more importantly, he'll add drug, mental health, and youth court, plus teach inmates job skills to decrease recidivism. I think the part that frustrates them is the continual revolving door where they're seeing the people come back into the facility and the reform that should be there for that person so that they come back out to the streets and be a productive citizen isn't happening. They're just learning more skills while they're in there when they're not getting trained. Republican Pete Ricketts has previously told KMTV he'd like to see the good time law go and be replaced with earned time. Ricketts also wants to invest in court rehabs to help with overcrowding. Hasbrook's backers say public safety is a bigger priority than saving money. Unfortunately, um, there is a candidate running for governor who cares more about uh, reducing the budget than uh, the, 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 uh, making the safety of Nebraskans a priority, especially here in Omaha. Though members of the state FOP and Omaha Police Union backed Hasselbrook's plans today, neither organization has endorsed him. I did hear from Pete Ricketts a short time ago. He said in part, I believe there are more affordable options to building new prisons, including drug courts and probation services that have been proven to reduce recidivism rates for nonviolent offenders.